Hi folks, it is an exciting day today. We are handing the roof over to a true professional. Lewis, the lead worker, is here to do the bay window at the front. So stick around and let's see how it's meant to be done. Who here wants to drop everything and retrain and learn to be a lead worker? 
What an amazing craft. That is as far as we got on day one of the lead work and there will of course be a part two when Lewis comes back, he's gonna finish the ridge, there's a bit of welding to do, and he's also gonna give me a hand uh, setting me up with the flashings when I come to do all the chimneys. There's eight sets of step flashings to do, so he's gonna give me a bit of guidance for that. Now I'm bound to get asked why I went with lead, because there are lots of alternatives, whether it's lead alternatives, uh, i.e. kind of fake versions of lead, uh, whether it's fiberglass, or even just going with ridge tiles and things like that on that specific area of the roof. But as you know, with this roofing project, I'm trying to use materials that are gonna outlive me, outlive future generations, and just stand the test of time. What we took off the roof is kind of testament to how good materials can be. It's gonna last, it's so effective at being recycled. I mean, everything I took off this roof, all the old flashings, the valleys, all that, I just take it straight down to the scrap merchants, hopefully get a fairly decent price for it. It just gets melted down and made into new lead and it goes back on another roof for another 100 years. It's a really um, low waste sort of, every sort of off cut that came off there, all the trimmings straight into the bucket and you know, that they'll get recycled. So that's a nice factor. Also, we've got some other lead that's been here uh, for the whole duration of the house. The flat roof on the bay window at the back of the house is a 120 year old flat roof with the mop stick, similar sort of profile, but this is just all lead sheet. And it's just, fun, you know, it's not gonna start, suddenly start letting through water. It's super thick, original lead, and it could probably go another 100 years. Interestingly, the original photos and plans of the house, which we've got, show that the hips and the ridge of that bay window at the front were not lead originally, they were little ridge tiles, probably clay ridge tiles, um, quite simple plain ones. That's fine, but they really didn't offer much cover. Obviously they were long gone before we got here, but they don't often offer much cover over the slate. And if you did use full size uh, kind of ridge tiles on there, it might look a bit odd. Plus you'd have to put the irons at the bottom. And I just, I like the idea that we could go with the lead. I've seen it work really well in this situation and especially with the slate it just seems to tie together and knowing that Lewis is always doing this sort of work you know the the mop sticks with the nice rolled ends there um, on slate I've seen it on his Instagram page before so it made sense to go with what I'd seen and uh, I love it. As far as costs go uh, it's not the cheapest material it's probably the most expensive material going on the roof and it can soon add up by the time you've got the soakers and the aprons and the flashings and that's just the chimneys and then that bay window at the front. And like everything, there's a budget issue there. You've got to make those decisions. Where you're going to save, where you're going to spend. The less you spend, probably the less durable it's going to be, you know. So I wanted something that was going to last. And for me, it made sense to, you know, pennies we'd saved elsewhere on the roof put into this. It was like the cherry on top of the cake really, uh, all that hard work. It was nice to have someone to come in, work alongside them, but really kind of let them do their thing. There are certain times where as a DIYer, you can treat yourself to finding a really, really good tradesperson and letting them do their thing. And of course, if you know me, there were moments where I thought I'd have a crack at it myself, but you know, it was nice to have someone with that skill under the belt to come in and uh, and basically uh, show off, be the roof artist. Like I said, Lewis will be back soon and that video will be out within the next week because there's just so much content now that I've got to get packaged up, edited out and, and sent out over the Christmas period. So we're not gonna be short of stuff to upload over Christmas, I just need to get behind the editing. Now if you enjoyed this then make sure you subscribe, you can click the bell symbol as well, that means you'll get a notification every time we upload. Also check out Lewis's own work, I've put all of his info down in the description. He does have a YouTube channel as well, he said that he hasn't uploaded too much recently but he's going to try and I think we should get behind him there because I can't imagine anything more satisfying than sitting down and watching short little videos of lead work, it's super amazing to watch and you should check out some of the welding videos that he's got and with, there's a little bit of welding involved in the back of the ridge and also some of the aprons he made up for me. So hopefully we can get a bit of that in the future. Anyway, we're gonna jump back on the roof this week. There's a few bits to finish, but we are slowly getting there. If you want the up-to-date 
side of things, head over to Instagram and there's kind of live updates there. Otherwise, stick around uh, on YouTube and this week we'll be getting on to things like the ridge tiles, which was a fun old day up there, uh, working on the stacks and a bit of plumbing as well. Great big old cores to drill to get the new soil pipes into the top floor here. Any questions, stick them down in the comment section and I'll try and get to those or pass them on to Lewis. But as always, thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself or employ a master craftsman for the day to do it for you. And we'll see you next time.